uh, you know, for violin making, uh, it's a very long training. Uh, most people have to learn four years, four years of violin making, violin making school, and uh, after that, they have to go two years internship. Means that uh, after they finish from a Cremona violin making school, for example. I have a couple of students from Cremona Valley Making School finish, they come to my shop to work. It means uh, work as an assistant. There's no, no, no pay. Of course I pay, <laughs> but they're not supposed to get paid for two years to work together with a master before you can start a business. Six years. After that, uh, you'll start your own workshop, do your own commercial if you can get a customer or not. So it's a, it's a long process to be a violin maker. So do not expect, do not expect come to workshop just one or two times, you know everything. It's not possible. So uh, come as, as many times as you can. Each time bring new questions, new problems. And every time we will talk here, I will put on YouTube, you have to watch the videos many, many times and try to practice. Try to work on your students' violins. Try to fix them. It is an, uh, the violin making is not like a, a um, language. You you learn one word and you know how to use it. It's not like that. Okay, you need practice. It's like a playing violin. It's not like a teacher says, okay, you must play as good as Perman, and you can play as good as Perman. It's not like that. You have to practice. Same as violin making. I teach, I say things like this, and you know the concept, you know the way to do it, and you have to practice at home to be able to do it, okay? So watch as many videos as possible on the YouTube channel, not only mine, other masters too, and raise questions, and every time I come here, try to come here. It's really worth it. You save you a lot, a lot of time and money. Uh, for example, this this thing, uh, I just fixed this the, the, the noise. I can easily charge you one hundred dollars for that. I can very easily charge you one hundred dollars. I fix this noise because you cannot play with this. It doesn't matter how easy it is. It's easy for me. It's not easy for you. Okay. So you learn more. You can help yourself. You can help your students. Okay. Uh, what's the next value? Your value. So what, what do you want to do with your violin? I wish to improve the sound. Improve the sound. Okay, now, the sound, sound, it just moved. Now, if you want to improve the sound, I have to play on it, okay? Okay, uh, I'll make a comment of this bow. Uh, this uh, uh, young teacher, uh, he wants to improve, improve the sound. Okay, it's like uh, you want to improve your family, but uh, you have to improve your wife first. If you have a very bad wife, your family cannot be improved, right? This is a very bad bow. First of all, look at this. Do you see this? Yes, we see this in Malaysia. Okay, we see these things in Malaysia. You never see those things in Japan. I'm sorry to say this. Okay, how can you play a bow with this hair? Huh? First of all, the hair is not good. We must change. Then secondly, the bow itself. This is a grass fiber bow. Okay, glass fiber. It's not wood. So glass fiber, when, when we play violin, when we play violin, people will think the sound is come from the violin. Yes. But the bow also makes sound. People don't realize this. Okay? The bow sound you cannot hear because the violin sound is so big. So actually, the bow sound will affect the sound. They make harmony or make not harmony. Okay, 
same in the husband and wife. Husband ran a, a, a restaurant. The wife is working very hard in the kitchen. Okay, the name is uh, the husband. Okay, what our name is uh, Shenli Restaurant. Okay, but the wife actually works very hard. But you have a wife is a robot. This wife has no personality and make no sound. So, <laughs> okay, I don't want to say more. You cannot use a glass fiber bow to play, play classical violin, acoustic violin. You can use this bow for electric violin because electric violin does not depend on the vibration of the violin. It's pick up, uh, make the sound from an amplifier. There's another system. Then you can use glass fiber bow. But for uh, classical violin, we don't use a glass fiber bow. This is a, a principle, okay? I'm very strict on this part. I want to emphasize this to the people all over the world. Do not use glass fiber bow playing classical music. Okay, you get it. Now, we try the sound. I want to borrow another bow, anyone's bow, which is wood. Can you borrow your bow, please? Yes. Uh, this bow here is also not good. But of course, um, I know that in Malaysia it's not easy to get a violin maker to change the bow here. Uh, but uh, basically, we need to change the bow here. I'll I talk about the bow here later, another chapter, okay? We will talk about the bow here. Uh, I just to make the sound from a glass fiber bow and a wood bow, okay? Of course, this is not a great wood bow. It's just a normal bow, but uh, it will make a difference, big difference. Can I have a show the rest, please? Yes, thanks. <coughs> Now we, we first of all listen to this sound. Okay. But uh, you, you hear the, the vibration, uh, um, it's, it's not uh, the part is not moved so much. Okay, but you see this bow. If you don't, I want you to sit here to feel the body movement. Only for play for open string. Please sit here. Okay. Now you use your bow, you play all the time. Just play open, yeah, open string. Okay. How do you feel? 
So when you play smiling, you feel it's move. Your body is also move. Okay, try it again. Yes, because the bow also has sound, have sound. But for for that's five bow. you feel difference. Please come, come, come close. Please come close. Or, or try to stand as close him, to him as possible. Close to me. <laughs> oh, this is very interesting. Close to you. Yeah, close yeah, to very you. close to him, please. please. Very expensive bow. Yes. yes, yes. Um, it's a very expensive bad bow. Okay. So the price doesn't mean anything. Okay. You can wear a very expensive bad shoes. You can hurt the feet very much, but it can be very expensive. It doesn't matter how how much they charge. The the bow. It doesn't mean that bow is good. I mean, it is good for. Uh, the good for um, jazz musicians, for um, electric violin musicians, it's not good for made for classical violin. Okay, now today at least you know your bow is not suitable for all the bow here must be changed. Not not not, not one is good. Okay, <laughs> all bad bow here. And uh, we will talk about the bow here another time because that's another topic we need to talk about. 